If you found this video, the chances are you were just searching for Scrum Ban, and if that's the case, you're definitely in the right place. Today, we're going to be looking back at the origins of Scrum Ban and asking the question, who is Scrum Ban for? Welcome to Development That Pays, the channel dedicated to profitable software development. My name is Gary Strawn, and if we're meeting for the first time, please do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss a thing. What is Scrum Ban? It's almost a silly question. The name, Scrum Ban, almost explains itself. Even if you've never heard the term before, you're likely to guess that it's some combination of Scrum and Kanban. A hybrid, possibly a third way. And if that's what you thought, you'd be right. But you'd also be missing an important part of the story. Before we go any further, I just want to check that we're all on the same page because to talk about Scrum Ban, we really do need to talk about Scrum and Kanban. And I think it's true to say that of all the software development frameworks, Scrum is the most well known. So there's every chance if you're watching this that you have a pretty good understanding of Scrum. And just in case you're a little unsure, Scrum is the one where we work in two week sprints. When it comes to Kanban, you may not be nearly as clear. And if that's the case for you, well, you're not alone. And I think the problem is that we use Kanban in at least two different ways. Yes, we use it to describe a software development framework, but long before the word was applied in that way, it was applied to a set of process improvement principles that can trace their origin way back to Toyota in the 1950s and before that, to a supermarket shelf in America. That's way beyond what I want to talk to you about today, but if you're interested in Scrum and Kanban and more specifically the differences between them, then I have some great resources for you, including a rather wonderful cheat sheet and a fabulous mini course. I'll tell you how to get your hands on both of those at the end of this episode. Rewind to 2009. And if things are fuzzy now, imagine how fuzzy they were Back then, Scrum had only just come into focus with the publishing of the very first edition of the Scrum Guide. Kanban as a software development framework was barely being talked about. Enter Corey Ladas. Do you think that's how he pronounces his name? Corey, if I just mangled your surname, I'm really sorry. Where was I? Oh yes, in 2009, Corey published this, Scrumban. Essays on Kanban Systems for Lean Software Development. How's that for a keyword-rich title? But what's not immediately obvious from the title is that Corey had a pretty specific agenda here. He wasn't just saying, in the beginning there was Scrum, and then there was Kanban, and now there is Scrumban. No, he was, uh, he was a good bit more directional than that, a good bit more opinionated. What he was actually saying, and these are my words, not his, he was saying that Scrum is flawed, it can be improved, and here's how to do it. And how would we do it? By applying Kanban principles. Now here's the rub. There's nothing stopping us from applying Kanban principles to Scrum. We could start today. There are all kinds of things that we could do without ever falling foul of the Scrum Guide. We could begin to visualize our work with an Agile board we could begin to limit our work in progress. We could begin to do all kinds of things, but we tend not to. And perhaps that's because we're not sure where to start. Corey shows us exactly where to start. So we have our answer. Who is Scrumban for? Well, if we take Corey at his word, Scrumban is for teams that are currently doing Scrum. That's a good answer. I'm not sure that it's necessarily a complete answer. I can see Scrum Ban as a possible option for teams that are just getting started with Agile. And I can even see cases where teams currently doing Kanban may want to give Scrum Ban a try. Perhaps that's something we can investigate in a future episode. For now, I'm gonna stick with Corey's original intent. In the next episode, we're gonna take Scrum and move step by step, applying Kanban principles and end up at Scrumban.